Hey guys, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells. Uh, this is my DD tarp, 3 meter by 3 meter tarp. And I did a video back in uh, December of 2011 on this tarp set up uh, on the ground, uh, almost like a tent. And that video has gotten a lot of uh, good comments. And many people have asked me uh, to duplicate that exact setup and show a step-by-step -step, uh, how I did that. So today's video, I'm going to use the same exact tarp, the DD tarp, with everything that I carry in it is contained in here to do the uh, setup, except for the trekking pole, which is going to be the center point uh, of the um, of the setup. So let's get started and. Um, We'll get going on this. Alright guys, here's what we're going to need for this project. We have the tarp opened up. So again, the tarp's three, 3 meter by 3 meter. It's olive green. It weighs 720 grams. It has 19 tie-out points. It's made of 190T polyester with a PU coating and includes four guy lines and four pegs when you buy it. I've added some items to it, uh, as you can see. Some of the stuff I carry, some extra pegs, some um, extra rope. Uh, the night eyes over here, um, guy outlines, and then of course the trekking pole which is over here uh, to my left um, for uh, the center pole. So the tarp is laid out in a square. I'll give you a little view here. And we are going to start to do the setup. Alright guys, we laid the tarp in a square and we took the center rear attachment point and we pegged the, the attachment point to the right of that and to the left of that. Then I took the corner and I skipped it. So it's tucked under here. I skipped the corner. Tucked that under and I went over to the next one and I pegged it. One on the right side and one on the left so it's got like a little angle where the corner is tucked under same on this side so that's the back now to line up your door opening what you do is you take the equal distance width of the two back pegs and you want to Take your front corner pegs, you can see here, one, two, because that's going to be your door opening. You can make it a little smaller or wider as you see fit, but it's basically in line with that back peg on the left side and the back peg on the right side. And then all I did was I skipped one attachment point on this side and I pegged the next one to the front. And I did the same on the other side. Now you could peg all the attachment points if you want, if you have enough pegs with you. Again, there's my attachment point here and then I skipped up one, skipped this one and then back up to that one and then the front one is pegged in. And my trekking pole is inside here and you gotta mess around with the height but like I said in the other video it's about four feet and here's your center line you can see your center line ridge line attachment points on the DD tarp so if you start from the back I did one two and then the third one from the rear I have the post uh, up in and so my interior is nice just big enough for two people side by side now you see light coming in from the back from the sides you could take care of that by pegging it down tighter um, or you could and I've gotten comments on this you could dig around uh, the tarp, put some dirt on top and seal all that in or some palm fronds, uh, whatever you have uh, as a windbreak, you could certainly do that. 
I'm not going to do that in this video, but to cut down on the wind and coming up from under your tarp, you can bury those edges uh, with some dirt or debris and you'll stop uh, anything from getting in underneath the tarp. And so then all I did was I took my attachment point here right up from where the trekking pole comes. I went, came right down to the center attachment point, attached my night eyes guy line and I just pegged it out. And then the door openings as you can see, you know, they'll flop around and again you could you could close them you know you could close them down tie them together you know whatever you want to do to secure that opening a little bit better in the front of the tarp but um, it's kinda hard to do by myself filming the video but it's just a little practice you can get this down with your tarp as well. The basic setup is uh, it almost looks like a you know not a teepee, not the, the pole's not in the center but it's conducive for at least one, they're very comfortable for one to two. Alright here I am on the inside showing you the back. Now I'll get to the back area and there's my trekking pole my front entrance door looking out and again the sides I can mess around with um, and get rid of that airflow that might be coming in from the bottom I could put some debris or dig around it and put some dirt and tie all that in and then with my ground cloth I have a nice solid surface to sit on and this this particular configuration will protect you against the uh, you know rain you could sit up I'm sitting up here right where the trekking pole is and I have plenty of room to sit up and uh, you know with two people can sit up easily and uh, uh, hang out and so that's the setup here. I hope that answers some of the questions on how I set this tarp up. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, I used nine tent pegs, one piece of guy line from my kit. I still have several pieces of guy line in my little bag here. I have my at least 25 feet of rope. I have some extra paracord and some guy out points and then here's my tent peg uh, so if you carry uh, you know eight to ten pegs you're good for this type of, cons of configuration and uh, you know your ground cloth and uh, whatever else you carry in uh, for the inside uh, that's a shot of it and this is the double version from the tarp and there's my single version tent that I've done video, a few videos on. So here they are, kind of side by side. Give you a good, you know, the tarp actually looks like a tent, only without the floor. Right. There's so many configurations you could do with tarps, you could drive yourself crazy, but this is just one of them that uh, people have asked about, and uh, I just set it up again. Once you get it down pat, it took me a little longer because I haven't set it up in a while. But, you know, 10-15 minutes you could have this up in no, in, uh, very easily. Alright guys, Anthony here. This tarp configuration was all inside this one bag. So, what you're seeing here, all my lines, my pegs, um, except for my trekking pole, everything was inside of this bag. So. Very convenient and lightweight way to carry a shelter system. You could put it in a go bag, a bug out bag, inside or and or attach it to the outside. So either way, you're covered uh, with shelter. And this is just one of you know many configurations. If you have a, a setup that you like, uh, please do a video and uh, give me your example of uh, your favorite tarp setup.
Thanks.